Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is not the nicest setting. Um, I just wanted it to be super casual and the lighting over here is fantastic, so that helps. So, I'm just gonna sit here. There's something in my eye. Okay, so today's video is gonna be a little bit embarrassing for me. Um, I'm back with a story time. You guys know I used to do story times all the time. And I was actually thinking the other day about redoing some of the story times that I used to do. So like I did a story time about a celebrity that tried to hook up with me and I never said who the celebrity was just because I didn't want to call them out. But if you guys haven't seen that video and it's way far down, then let me know and I'll redo that video and maybe I'll tell you guys who that celebrity was. Ugh. I used to do story times all the time. So story time Monica is back. But this one is super embarrassing for me. I like I was debating if I even tell this. That's how bad it is. Well it's not like that bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't know how to describe it. It's not like that bad because everybody kind of made me feel this way. Alright, forget it. Let's just get into the story. So as you can probably tell from the title, this is the story about how I thought Sam was proposing. <sighs> if you guys don't know, Sam is my boyfriend. And we've talked about getting married a lot, but we haven't talked about when it's going to happen. We know it's not going to be for a long time. Neither of us are in a rush. Obviously, if he proposed to me now, I would say yes, because I know I want to be with him, but we, we are not in a rush to get engaged, if that makes sense. So, this is the story. I was home back in New York. Sam was in the UK. And I was getting ready to go to the UK, and this was the last trip, so I was flying to the UK on Christmas Day, actually. Sam said for Christmas he got me a really amazing gift. So we'll start there. He told me that he had a huge gift for me and that I was not gonna expect it and it's something that like I would absolutely love and probably cry. And I was like, okay, crying? Okay, dogs or proposal? Something I would love, dogs or proposal? I thought it was something about a dog or a proposal. <laughs> he was like really hyping up this gift saying, I can't tell you, I can't even give you a hint. I can't even tell your mom because if I tell your mom, she'll probably tell you because it's so exciting. And I was like, he doesn't want to tell my mom because she'll be too excited. My mom really wants us to get engaged because my mom just like really wants to be a young grandma. That's a whole nother story. She just wants one of her children to have a baby, although I am the youngest. Thanks, mom. That also made me feel like he was gonna propose because he was like, oh yeah, like I can't even tell your mom. She's gonna be so excited. She might tell you. I was like, okay, like that's a little bit, it's a little bit weird. And another thing was he said to me that he told my sister and that was fine. I was like, okay, cool. And my sister kept going like, you're gonna freak. Like you're gonna love it. And I kept saying to both of them, I'm like, am I being proposed to? And like, obviously if I was, I wouldn't wanna know, but like, I kept just saying, I'm like, I feel like I'm being proposed to. Like, my sister was like really hyping up the gift. She's like, oh my gosh, like, you're really gonna freak out. And I kept thinking it was proposal because like, Sam doesn't really go out to eat that much with his like family. And all of a sudden he started going out to eat with his family. He started going out to eat with his grandparents and having everyone come over and like, it's not like he doesn't talk to his family, but like he doesn't really do stuff like that often, like go out to eat with them. That was another thing I was like, all of a sudden it's like he's like basically se like, se like what are you celebrating? Like you're always going out like with your family, taking them out, you're excited to see them. It's like, what are you like, what are you telling them? Another thing he said was, speaking of his grandparents, he told his grandparents the gift and he said that his grandma freaked out. Again, I was like, why is everyone freaking out over this gift? Like, what is it? Like, I had no idea. I had no hunches of what it was. He kept also saying, like, you're never going to guess what it is. Like, that's what I love about this. You're never going to know. And that's another thing. Like, because I know we're not getting engaged anytime soon, I was like, I'm not going to guess it. I am guessing it because you're proposing. Another thing that comes into play. I was in the kitchen one day doing my thing, cooking my mac and cheese like I do. And my, I just turned so ghetto. <laughs> and my brother comes in the kitchen. Hi, Robert. If you're watching this, you're probably not because you don't watch my videos. <laughs> my brother comes in the kitchen when I'm in the kitchen. And we're not having a conversation yet. He just walks next to me, looks at me, and he's like, I really hope Sam proposes to you soon. And I was like so taken back because one, super random for you to come in the kitchen and say that to me. Two, did he tell you he's proposing? Am I being proposed to here? Like, why is everyone? 
everyone making it seem like I am. I'll get more into my other family members in a little bit. So he's like, I really want him to propose to you soon. Like, why don't you guys like get engaged? And like, my brother's like going in on the fact that he loves me and Sam together and that he wants us to get engaged. Shout out to Robert, thank you Robert. And I even said to my brother, I'm like, do you know something that I don't? Am I being proposed to? Is my big gift my proposal? Like, is that happening? Everyone's making it seem like it's happening. My sister Liz is being super secretive. My mom's not allowed to know. My, I don't even know at this point if my dad knows, if my other sister knows. I don't know what's going on. All I know is my brother is randomly saying he hopes I get engaged. My sister is all quiet and then saying, you're gonna love your gift, you're never gonna guess it, I'm so happy. I'm like, what is going on here? Why is, like, what is happening? Then one day we're in the car and he starts talking about the gift again. He's like, I'm just so excited, I can't wait. And I was like, am I being proposed to, like for real? Like I just said it. I'm like, am I being proposed to? Like don't tell me if I'm right, but am I being proposed to? Obviously I wouldn't want him to tell me the answer, but like, I was like, I feel like I'm getting proposed to. And he's like, no, I'm not proposing, but I did send Liz the ring I found. At this point, I remember exactly where I was. I was driving in my car with my sister in the passenger seat. I look over at her, I was like, I'm sorry, he, he sent you my engagement ring. Can you see, can you connect the dots here and see why I had these thoughts? She's like, yeah, you're gonna love it. Like, it's, it's beautiful. And I was like, why, are we, why is this even a topic of conversation if this isn't happening in like the next 20 minutes? Like, he was like, yeah, I sent her a whole bunch of rings that I found on Snapchat. So like, the messages would go away and I found like the one and she was like, Monica, like, it's amazing. I was like, in the middle of driving, like just wanting to pull over and just bawl my eyes out. Cause I was like, the fact that this is even in conversation, I'm being proposed to. I'm gonna be proposed to when I go visit him. Of course I wasn't, as you guys know. But at that point, I, I really truly believed I was. I ended up flying to the UK, and let me just tell you, I had my nails did. I literally got, I hate getting my nails done, but I got my nails done because I truly believed I was getting proposed to, and I always tell my sister, that's another thing, wait, hold up. I don't really get my nails done that much, and I told my mom and sister, this is like I've always said in my whole life, I'm like, Please, just do me a favor. When I'm getting proposed to, just make sure my nails are done. Because when I get proposed to, I wanna be taking pictures immediately, but I can't if I got crusty nails. So I, that's just something I always said. I was just like, oh, excuse me. So I was just like, please, like, don't do me dirty like that. Make sure my nails are done. And that was another thing before my trip, my mom kept saying, let's go get your nails done. Like, I just really like, I feel like treating you today. I'm gonna treat you to get your nails done. Let's go. I was like, I don't want to. She's like, please, just get your nails done. Little did I know my mom was just shading me and she just thought my nails were disgusting and she just wanted me to get my nails done. <laughs> but I thought she wanted me to get my nails done because I was being proposed to. Clearly not, but that's besides the point. Thank you, mom. <laughs> my mom and sister were like pressuring me to get my nails done. I was like, what's going on? Then my other sister, Jacqueline, shout out to you girl, she's calling me saying like, what's this big gift I keep hearing about? Like, everyone's excited about this gift. I was like, oh my gosh, more people. More people are telling me that this gift is so amazing. Needless to say, I got my nails done just in case. <laughs> and I hate going to get my nails done because I hate filing and it gives me chills and oh my God, I just did my own nails, they're horrible. Anyways, I fly to the UK. In my heart, I feel like I'm getting engaged, even though I kind of knew I wasn't getting engaged, but I thought I was. I know that makes no sense, but like I knew it wasn't gonna happen, but I felt like it was gonna happen. That makes no sense when I say it out loud. I land, I get off the plane, I do my thing, find Sam, we get home, and it's Christmas. Like I said, it was Christmas when I arrived. And he is like, I wanna give you your gift last. Like, let's go see my family, and then later, I'll give you your gift. I was like, okay. So basically, I should put on a cute outfit and make sure my nails look good because you're proposing after we see your family. <laughs> so we go see his family, everything's fine. We get home to exchange gifts. He's like, I want to go last. I was like, okay. So I give him his gifts, whatever. He gives me his and it was in like, it's actually, it's there, that little bag. And then there's just like a little booklet in there. And I was like, what is, what is that? Is this a DVD I'm gonna play? Or is like this like a book, like a personalized book he wrote? 
to like say we're getting married like I didn't know <laughs> anyways so he gives me the gift spoiler alert it was not a proposal <laughs> I did not get proposed to. I was not disappointed, just so everybody knows. Like, I wasn't coming here really expecting him to propose and then get upset that he wasn't. Like, my family kept assuring me, it's like, oh no, it's not a proposal. Still kind of thought it was, but I didn't like hype myself up to think like, I'm getting proposed, I'm getting proposed, I'm getting proposed. So I wasn't like disappointed. The gift ended up being a trip to Berlin, and we were gonna be staying at a hotel really close to Europe's best zoo. And guys, I love animals so much. So it was such a thoughtful, beautiful gift, which by the way, we ended up not being able to go. That's a whole nother story. That's somewhere on the Sam and Monica channel because Sam lost his passport. So the gift never actually ended up happening, but he did other things for me. Um, he took me to see Aladdin on the West End in London, and that's something I always wanted to do. So that was absolutely like my perfect gift. But anyways, I did not get proposed to. <laughs> I was a little bit sad. I wasn't disappointed, but I was a little bit sad just because I... I like felt in my heart a little bit that he was gonna propose. I know this video is all over the place. I have like two different thoughts that are completely different, but they're the same. Like I knew he wasn't gonna propose, but I thought he was gonna propose, but I knew he wasn't, so I got upset because he didn't. Like what? Anyways, that is the story on the time I thought Sam was proposing. One day when I do get proposed to, I can look back at this video and laugh because girl, your time will come and I feel like it will be so much more special because I'm not expecting it at all. <laughs> I feel embarrassed and we're working on like this secret project and like I told people there that like yeah I think I'm getting engaged so like everyone was excited for me even though we all knew it wasn't happening speaking of that secret project we just announced on the Santa Monica channel on Wednesday that the secret project that we've been talking about for months will be announced next month we can finally talk about it and I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Monica Gartner and to check me out on Snapchat, Monica263. I don't know why I need to do the hand signals there. And also, if you could please check out my new blog for long distance relationships, it's longdistancerelationships.blog. And I blog about everything to do with long distance. And if you guys are in a long distance relationship, then you can actually tell me all about your relationship. There's a form on there, you can fill it out and tell me all about your long distance relationship. And I would be so excited to write a blog about you and your boyfriend or girlfriend. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.